All right, I found this brand new tweak in the city store. It's called um, <clears throat> Auto Updater. You can go ahead and get into it. So first you want to open up your city. <clears throat> Got a little sore throat. <clears> That's <throat> more worms going on up in here too. All right, this is Auto Updater. It's uh, part of the Insanely repo. I think that comes kind of default anyway when you jailbreak your device. And what you want to do is go ahead and install this. Now once you install this, you want to ask you to respring it. So go ahead and restart your device. And right off the back, as soon as you restart your device, it's going to bug you and say, hey, you can't update this or whatever. Maybe you got some packages or apps on here that you haven't purchased. But um, it's going to tell you that you can't update those so those weren't purchased. Or it might say, okay, you had this certain amount of updates. Let it do its thing. And it's gonna pop up on top and say you have these so so amount apps updated. So once it's done <clears throat> installing, doing what it has to do, you go ahead and you find where it's at, <clears throat> which I think it is. Yeah, it's in your settings right here, your general in your settings. Open it up, auto app updater. And what you want to do is turn on. <clears throat> you got 3G or whatever for this. If this is your iPhone, maybe your. <clears throat> iTouch, iPad, whatever it may be. You have the choice of being able to update on Wi-Fi only, so your day ain't getting killed. <coughs> In addition to that, you pick when you want it to update, 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, three hours, and so forth. And also, the part I like is the app settings right here. You can turn off which ones you don't want it to auto-update. Let's like say you got someone here that you don't want it to update, you just want it just to stay where it's at. And then you have other ones that you do want to update. You can easily just go ahead and check it, check it on, check it off, and then go about your way. Now after it finishes updating, it gives you a, a brief description of what has been updated and what are the, I guess, the updates for that app. So you don't have to worry about, okay, it's updating apps, so I don't know what they updated. It. What, I mean, what comes with the update. So after this updates, it gives you a log in there, and I guess you click on update history right here. I updated my Gmail. <coughs> And it showed me what was in the update, which is pretty cool. And when it was released, when it was updated, it goes all the way down to the time, which is really cool. <clears throat> up on that, you clear your history. It's a pretty straightforward app. Go ahead and check it out in the city store. It's also, it is free. And I think there's a paid version too, so try out the free one to see if you like it. If you do like it, go ahead and buy the, the full one. But I could be mistaken. But it's free for me. Alright, so rate, comment, subscribe, hit me in the comments below, let me know what you think about this video. Alright.